Hi friend, in this section I will give you introduction to sizing conductor and selective protecting devices. This is uh, uh, chapter number 4 for the power guide 2009 provided by Leetrain. So this uh, basically uh, is a manufacturing company and they have produced, have produced this book. And in this book they have shown lot of calculations and I basically uh, uh, this is uh, I found that it's a very good uh, guide for study. So careful selection of sizes of conductors in wiring systems and conductors protection devices will ensure basic protection of the installation protection against voltages, voltage drops, short circuits, thermal stresses and indirect contact. So basically I found this book a very interesting and we, we have, have the following topics we will go through very briefly through this one by one so we have first of all over current all the live conductors in the solution phase or neutral must be in principle be <coughs> protected against overloads and short circuits so um, here you can see overload is dealing with continuous current capacity of the conductor and short circuit is dealing with a fault current which is uh, for a small duration of times so here you can see basically a three phase transformer uh, basically a transformer you can see the central winding is more heated up as compared to the winding uh, on the side it, it might be the reason that the load uh, balancing is not done properly and central uh, basically core might be yellow phase is feeding more current so it means the transformer is continuously subject to an overload so infrared thermography can be used to detect uh, such situations which is uh, detecting the hot spots so basically this is a good example of detecting overloads so normally the hot spot uh, is or uh, thermography is, is done in, in all the electric installation to detect such things it could be the reason uh, hot spot uh, 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 it could be the reason that the load is more uh, undersizing of wiring system is undersized or the load is calculation is wrong it could have many reasons then they have we have discussion regarding short circuit so we have discussed already whenever there is a short circuit there will be huge current and and heat will be generated so each one lecture is providing this uh, fault uh, current and levels then they have over current continuous uh, calculation principle for installation so here you can find calculate actual operating current how you have you can find out IB determine the cross section of the current then we can select the overload protection device then calculate the voltage drop then we can calculate the maximum short circuit current determine the characteristics of short circuit protection devices check the thermal stress is permitted by the conductors check the maximum length for protected against short circuits check the protection condition against indirect contact so here uh, there is a software by Degrand which is uh, Excel Pro 2 which is available also free of cost to download from their website you can use this software for doing the sizing calculation for the circuit <coughs> for the cables so when we have protection against overloads determination of the actual operating current IB so here you can find these calculations it's very useful so load areas of wiring system value in IR must be in green uh, in red area the wiring system is overloaded in the orange area the product is underrated and a risk of unwanted dropping value I represents represent the maximum current that wiring system can withstand continuous without adversely affecting its severe service life so here is an example that how the basically operating current uh, is calculated IB 
the actual operating current IB must not exceed the rated current of the protected device which itself must not exceed that of current carrying capacity of wiring system because if the current carrying capacity or operating current of the device is more than the protection system device the protection device will burn and it, it can't protect itself this is very simple so here we have this uh, calculation example then we have calculation of operating current up to 30 volt circuits applying for 2 by 36 watt fluorescent tube trip lights Theoretical power is 2 by 36 into 40, which is equal to 2880 watts. That is theoretical current of 2880, which is divided by 2012.5 amperes. So, in this way, you are calculating the rated current, uh, which should increase by factors connected with the cos of phi and the output. Generic cos of phi value is uh, given for various uh, types of receivers, C power analysis, selection. If the factor is 1.8 is used for strip lights, the following operating current is uh, obtained 22.5 amperes. So, this is an example how the rated current is used. So, if we have calculated the rated current, then we are uh, selecting cross section area. So this I have already explained you and then how the cross section area is selected depending upon how the cable is installed. So different installation methods I have already explained you. You can you have to multiply it with the uh, conductor base rating and you can calculate the cross required cross section area. Then protection against over voltages, characteristic of conductor, wiring system installation methods, normally uh, thermal overload protection is installed uh, in order to protect uh, the cable or the basically the equipment from thermal overload. So here you can see how the cables are installed and it's basically increasing and decreasing uh, the rating of the cable. Um, before I have shown you basically a general table now this table you can find out in this uh, manufacturer that how you can select and how you can uh, rate and degrade different uh, uh, material and all the basically manufacturers are supplying such cables you know, such a chart by which you can select the k factor so here they are supplying all these details protection against over voltages so you can find also how the cables are installed in the duct here you can see they have given an example grouping circuit together result in reduction of current carrying capacity application of correction factor so here you can see if the cables are laid in different way the correction factor you need to apply so these are all example of correction factors you, you can select a cable in different uh, then we have protection against old discontinued so then we have parallel conductors risk for explosion global correction factor parallel conductors then we have it is can bring the overload factors then we have multi core single core cables trough file arrangement voltage drop per unit so again the they have provided the table which is dealing with the voltage drops they are defining 400 meter cable the voltage drops then another parameter short circuit levels So here you can see values of K for live and protective conductors. The maximum thermal stress for times of less than 5 seconds that wiring system can extend is calculated using the formula I square D is equal to K square plus S square.
then they have given some information related to production using circuit breaker fuses production of conductors they are giving k factors here production again short circuit protection against indirect contact all electrical installation must be protected against indirect contact various methods described in the book electrical danger and protection of people can be used to protect the, this protection to provide this protection this section defines the protection condition involving automatic disconnection of power supply the limit voltage represents the value of the threshold below which there is no risk of electrocution. As general rule, the nominal voltage of installation is higher than the limit voltage 50 volt to ensure there is no danger. The positive touch voltage must remain below the limit value. So these are all calculations for touch and step potentials. Here they are defining some breaking time in their sheet they are different type of uh, IT systems they explain here and here you can find some calculation examples where you can find the short circuit level so I am keeping this an exercise for you you can go through these calculations and you can improve your skills to find out some short circuit calculations one by one So at the end they have provided some details about the cables. This cable is used for fixed installation. This cable is used for break connection or enhanced mechanical protection. So all the details you can find out. Type of installation, current rating, etc. Here you can find the different cable core identifications in, in this manual. So, uh, this is just I gave you example from a manufacturer which is a very famous manufacturer in France and they have prepared this guide. I hope that uh, you can download and study yourself in more detail. Thank you very much.